Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone, take what resonates for you as always. We're looking at the 20th to the 26th of March 2023, so let's see what we have for you. We have number two, intention, peace. Number five, energy, fear. Let's see what else we get. I'm going to pull from the Archangel Michael deck. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Taurus for the week. We have number 12, embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Okay, Taurus, I'm using Morgan Greer this week. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Taurus, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Taurus for the week. Message for our lovely Taurians for the week. Thank you. We have the King of Cups, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, but not limited to that. Two of Wands. The Empress, Venus in Taurus. Five of Pentacles. Page of Rods. The Ace of Rods. Queen of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Let's pull an extra card for this King of Cups. What do we have for Taurus, please? Thank you. We have the Ace of Cups, Temperance, and the Queen of Swords. The King of Cups offers the, the cup energy, you know, love, romance, relationships, heartfelt, you know, offer of some kind. Journey represents things like emotional balance. This feels like a healing energy. You know, Queen of Swords energy, somebody who, I mean, there may well have been some kind of truth here as well that you're dealing with. Queen of Swords is, what do I do next? You know, the clarity, the decisiveness. How do I make a decision or a choice? It's about being in truth and facing things in truth. Not necessarily how you want it to be, but how it is. And making clear decisions accordingly. This could be some kind of truth that came to light here. Or seeing something in truth. With this King of Swords, it's seen something in truth, actually. Sorry, King of Cups. Um, let's pull an extra card with that one. Extra card for the King of Cups. The Page of Cups. A message... Message from the heart, loving message here with the Page of Cups. The Eight of Wands, forward movement, fast forward movement. Okay, the Hierophant, okay. The Hierophant is all about uh, 
Well, because they've been thinking about it, the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, they've, they've, been, they've been thinking about this, the Two of Wands again. Yeah, this King of Cups has been thinking about it. They've um, they've been thinking about taking the relationship to, I feel it's about a deeper level. Uh, the Hierophant is all about uh, long-term committed relationships, marriage, or the kind of like next traditional step on the journey. I feel somebody has been had has had fears of commitment. They only liked a relationship going so far because they were in some kind of comfort zone and they've been thinking about stepping out of that now because that's what the situation requires. So this is this is that forward movement here that you might have been waiting for and again this can be vice versa for you. You would be either the king or queen of cups again male or female energy here because they're seeing the truth of this. And they're understanding what needs to be done. This Queen of Swords energy is marries with the King of Cups here. Because the Temperance card is all about bringing balance back to a situation. But it really is a quite a truthful card, the Temperance card as well. A uh, very spiritual energy in terms of offering love. Uh, the Ace of Cups is the heart is open. Somebody is open. I feel that they've been really... Uh, uh, there's a sense of fear here. They feared commitment. I mean, this could be down to past experience or life lessons or even, you know, growing up, some kind of experience that, you know, they went through and, you know, that made them fearful of commitment in some way. But, you know, this feels uh, this feels like they're ready. They're ready to take that kind of step forward here because there's a lot of action energy going on here. But that has been the challenge. You felt that you only went to some kind of point in the relationship and it wasn't really going any further, you know, and uh, because they they weren't prepared to give it a go. They weren't prepared to see beyond a certain point here because of fear, whatever that fear would be. But this has been the challenge about making choices about the future, how things are going to unfold. A strong sense of, of stepping beyond some kind of comfort zone here, Taurus. You've been really clear about what you want. And that's the energy here. I do want to go over here, actually, as well, because the Five of Pentacles is about feeling lack, insufficiency, you know, not getting what you want out of the relationship. And generally when we're in this energy for too long, it can make us question the whole relationship itself. Is this for me? Because I'm not getting valued. I'm not getting what, what I want out of the relationship. I don't like the way you make me feel. You don't make me feel listened to, valued, appreciated, worthy. Uh, and that's what this Queen of Cups is feeling, you know, in terms of heart. This is somebody who likes the right kind of love and is questioning this because the other person isn't giving it to them. That's about to change. There is a, a solid new beginning and it's solid because it looks like some level of commitment here is is progressive it's it's that that sense of that big step forward someone's making their mind up in terms of choices about the future and where the relationship is going and i think they've been fearful of this up until this point here taurus but it definitely feels like there's progress here things all of a sudden start moving forward very very quickly indeed the ace of wands and the empress this is this is your energy the ace of wands is an exciting new beginning that you're really excited and enthusiastic about. This is about going for it. Let's do it. Let's let's step through that door. Uh, and it's just the beginnings of something that's, that promises growth and success. Abundant energy as well with the Empress. Where you felt lack with the Five of Pentacles, this new path that you're being offered is where there's a sense of new abundance here as well. Now, I will also say that, again, if this isn't the relationship itself... If somebody is waiting to see if balance is going to come back because it's a money issue and that could have affected a relationship, for example, the five of pentacles is where you felt like financially. The ace of pentacles, the empress, there's a new opportunity coming that brings you that sense of balance coming into your life. There could have been some kind of fear in terms of whether you were going to get, you know, the opportunity that you've taken steps towards. You may have even felt, you know, trapped within some kind of boundary of feeling lack. Uh, but this is definitely an energy here. There could well be some kind of change in terms of opportunity appearing as well. 
in the next seven days because again the ace of wands the ace of, of pentacles and again that sense of emotional rebirth and renewal with the ace of cups new happiness it just feels like this can also be very this lends itself very well in terms of money money new job new business opportunity new career path as well because the empress rules both she's very good in terms of love she's very good in terms of money career i feel that she's the birth of something new where you don't feel lack so uh, just feels like positive change here okay what do we have that sense of peace is restored restoring peace okay what do we have for Taurus please as a final message yeah I love that we have inspiration be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration come dusk or dawn she can call at any time That's what I have for you, Taurus, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.